Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're looking at the running cost to run your marine tank, as well as look at some tips to help you save some energy. Let's get into the video. With the current cost of electricity rising, there is no doubt that everyone is worried about their electricity bills. You may even be concerned about how much your tank will cost. To help you better understand some of your running costs, we are breaking down how much daily electricity our tanks use up, how to calculate this cost, and offer some of our best tips to save energy on your tank. Just a quick disclaimer that these cost breakdowns are all based on the new October 2022 energy price cap. These costs may vary over time, but this is a general guide for the average running cost of our current tanks in store. Let's start with the Fluval C Evo 52 litre aquarium. On our Evo, there is a built-in 16 watt LED light and a standard pump. We also have a 50 watt heater and the addition of a power head. When we tested the energy output, we found that our Fluval Evo was using 28p to run each day. To run each month, it would cost us £8.40. If you don't have an electricity usage monitor, then here is a simple calculation you can do to work out the power outage of your aquarium and equipment. Firstly, take the current price cap, which is set to 54p per kilowatt, including the 20% VAT, times 0.54 by the wattage output stated by the manufacturer. We are using Fluval Evo for the example, which states 16 watts, and the addition of a 50 watt heater to give us a total of 66 watts. Now times 0.54 by 66, which equals 35.64. Now times that by the number of hours you have the application on, which is 24 hours, equaling 855.36 watts hours per day. Divide this amount by 1000, which makes a 0.85 kilowatt. And that's how much your tank is running per day. Now this is based on the heater and lights being at full power the whole time. And if you have additional equipment, this amount would vary. So just keep that in mind. To compare, we're having a look at one of our larger displays, which is the soft coral system. In this tank, we have a protein skimmer, two LED lights and two wave makers and a carbon reactor. These will all contribute to the overall consumption of energy. After 21 hours, it came to £1.08p and then after 24 hours, the cost came to £1.37. So for a month, it would cost an average of £41.10p to run. So now that we know the daily wattage of some of our tanks, we can have a look at some of our top tips on ways you can save energy. One way to preserve some of your energy when looking at your tank is by focusing on your equipment, particularly your lights. For instance, reducing the intensity of your lights and reducing the number of hours your lights are on can help decrease consumption. The type of lights you're using can also massively contribute to energy consumption. Consider getting LED lights as these are more efficient, as well as putting your lights on a lighting schedule so that they are not constantly on. Another way of saving energy is by running your tank at 24 degrees to help reduce some of the energy needed to heat it. At 24 degrees, your tank will be absolutely fine and your corals and fish won't be affected by this. So save some energy by keeping your aquarium at 24 degrees. You can also consider getting a glass top to help with evaporation and preserve some heat in your aquarium. Some other little ways to help reduce consumption and save money is you can consider turning the power heads down so that they are not using so much energy. If you have a refugium with a light, you can turn this on whilst your main light is off. This can help to stabilize pH, but it can also help to reduce the number of hours your main light is on. You can also consider putting a skimmer on a timer so it's also not constantly on. All these little adjustments can help to reduce the overall consumption your tank is using up. Our final tip to reducing your tank's energy consumption and saving some money is through regular maintenance and cleaning all your pumps. We want our equipment to be working efficiently, so by keeping the equipment clean and running smoothly, we can make the most of the pumps, lighting and skimmers. All these small changes can really help in trying to reduce the cost of your electricity bill this winter. If you want any more advice or you're still worried about the cost of running your tank, please get in touch today. Thanks guys for watching, we hope you found that video helpful. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.